students, today you will use grid and column methods to multiply three digit numbers. Today you will learn how to multiply a three digit number with a single digit. Let's multiply 587 by 4. For this you will use grid method to solve it. But teacher, what is grid method? I will explain it to you. Look at the diagram representing the number 587 with 5 blue dots, 8 yellow dots and 7 red dots. For this method, we will use 3 steps. First, we will figure out the numbers of hundreds, tens and units in the 3 digit number. In this case, 587. Then we will multiply each of these separately with the single digit number. Here it is 4. Finally, we will add all of them together. Sara, can you help me? With step 1? Yes, teacher. The 5 and 587 represents 500, the 8 represents 80, and 7 represents 7. Excellent. Now let's multiply each of these by 4. 500 multiplied by 4 is equal to 2000. 80 multiplied by 4 is equal to 320. 7 multiplied by 4 is equal to 28. By adding all these, we get the answer which is 2348. It means, teacher, 587 multiplied by 4 is equal to 2000 plus 320 plus 28, so we get this answer. Correct. There is another similar method we can use to multiply three-digit numbers with single-digit number, that is column method. In this method, we start from the right and multiply 4 with the separate digits. Write the units of each result in the answer bar and take the tens carry. When we will multiply with the final digit, we will write the full result in the answer bar. Can you pause and find out what 285 multiplied by 3 equals? Great, you are back. Let's work it out. 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. We write 5 and carry 1. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. We add the 1 carried to 25. We write 5 and carry 2. Finally, 2 multiplied by 3. 3 is 6. We add the 2 carrot to get 8 and write it. The answer is 855. Let's practice multiplication through an example. Emma bought 3 chocolates and 2 candies. The chocolate cost 8 pence each. He spends 38 pence in total. How much did each candy cost? Hmm, it's a very complicated question. Sarah, do you remember the bar model? Yes, I remember it. Just picture the bar model to find your answer. Students, pause the video and see if you can solve the question using bar model. Great, you are back. Let's solve this together. Oh, so the lower bar is the total cost and the upper bar is at the cost of the three chocolates and two candies he bought. Yes, and to find the value of each orange bar, we will first find the total value of the yellow bars combined by 8 multiplied by 3 is equal to 24. Next, we will subtract 24 from 38 to 14. So each orange bar shows half of this value which is 7. So the answer is 7 pence. Now let's try another similar question using 3 digit numbers. 6 apples weighing 125 grams each are placed in a bowl. The mass of the bowl and the apples is 915 grams. What is the mass of the bowl? I think we first have to multiply 125 by 6 to get the mass of the apple. That's right, Sarah. Can you pause the video and calculate what that will make? It will make 750 grams. That's correct. Since the sum of the masses of the bowl and the apples is 915 grams, we will subtract the mass of the apples to get the mass of the bowl. Hmm, it will give 915. 15 minus 750 is equal to 165. Good job. Great work students. We have reached the end of our lesson. I hope you had fun learning more about multiplication and problem solving today. Please complete the following questions and submit your answers through Google Classroom. See you next time.